Hello and welcome back to Data Simplified and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily in Google Sheets get people's ages into an age group. So quite often you may find yourself with a spreadsheet and you've got a list of employees names here and you've got their ages next to them or they could be customer names and you could want to know what percentage of your customers are I don't know, under 40, what percentage of your customers are between 18 and 24? So particularly when you've got a very, very long list, it's nicer instead of having to look at every age like P to 53 there and go, oh, OK, so the group here would be 45 to 54 and type them in. It's nice to just have a formula to do that for you and make it nice and easy. So on the right here, what I've got is I've got a list of ages going down from 18 to 54 because they're the ages that we're looking at again but you could pick any number and this is obviously easily done just by simply typing the first age clicking at the bottom then and then it auto populates all of the ages for as long as you like or you can drag it down or as I've done here I've just done a simple formula of equals the cell above plus one and dragged it down I'll just show you now so that we've got all of the ages all the way down to 54. Then next to them, all I've done is I've just put the age group that we want each age to be in. So my age groups, I've gone with the typical sort of like Likert scale age groups that are often used of 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44 and 45 to 54. And all I've done to put them in there is just list them out once, all individually. The good thing about this method though is as soon as you've done create this once and it's the same you're going to use all the time, I'd recommend saving it in a Google Sheet because then you can just copy and paste it into absolutely any spreadsheet that you want and use it going forward without even having to type that out. So over here then I've got the age group column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simple VLOOKUP to the age and age group over here in order to get what everybody's ages are. So I'm going to put equals VLOOKUP open bracket the age that I want to look up comma the area that I want to look up in. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to use control shift right and down so that I easily select all the ages. I'm going to put comma, it's column two, so column one in this situation in the lookup area is G, so H should be column two, that's the value that I want to return. So column two and then comma false, close bracket, hit enter and it also suggests an autofill. We're not going to do that though because we need to do something important to the formula first. So as you can see, Pete's age group has come up straight away for us. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to click in here where it says G2 and we're going to click FN and F4 just so that we get those little dollar signs up because that then means that, that reference table will stay the same as you drag it down. If you don't do that, they'll change and they'll gain a number each time as you drag it down so you won't be looking at the full range. So if, say, halfway down the spreadsheet, you have someone in the 18 to 24 group, it wouldn't populate. But by putting in those dollar signs, we make sure that it does. So click enter. And then after I've done that, all I'm going to do is click, double click in the corner so everybody's age populates. Again, I'd just like to spot check a couple, particularly, obviously, when you're doing this normally, if it's like for a custom survey or something, you might have thousands of cells. So just pick a couple of random ones. So we'll look here. George, 23, between 18 and 24, seems fine. Paul, 45, between 45 and 54, seems fine. And that is very simply how you use a VLOOKUP in order to get an age group across. Again, when categorising people by age groups, it's one of those things where there are lots of tips and tricks to it and many different ways here at Data Simplified. We just like to show you the most straightforward and simple way to do it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.